you, you mentioned just the technosphere, and you also wrote that the most alive thing on this planet is our technosphere. Yeah. Why is the technology we create a kind of life form? Why do you, why are you seeing it as life? Because it's creative, but with us, obviously, like not independently of us. And also because of this sort of lineage view of life. And I, I think about life often as a planetary scale phenomena, because that's sort of the natural boundary for all of this causation that's bundled in every object in our biosphere. And so for me, it's just sort of the current boundary of how far life on our planet has pushed into the things that our universe can generate. And so it's the furthest thing, it's the biggest thing. Um, and I think a lot about the nature of life across different scales. And so, uh, you know, we have cells inside of us that are alive and we feel like we're alive, but we don't often think about the societies that we're embedded in as alive or a global scale organization of us and our technology on the planet as alive. Um, but I think if you have this uh, deeper view into the nature of life, uh, which I think is necessary also to solve the origin of life, then you have to include those things. All of them. So you, so you have to simultaneously think about every life scale. at every single scale. Yeah. The planetary and the bacteria level. Yeah. This is the hard thing about solving the problem of life, I think, is how many things you have to integrate into building a sort of a, a, a unified picture of this thing that we want to call life. And, and a lot of our theories of physics are built on um, building deep regularities that explain a really broad class of phenomena. And I think we haven't really traditionally thought about life that way. Uh, but I think to get a, at some of these hardest questions, like looking for life on other planets or the origin of life, you really have to think about it that way. Mm -hmm. And so most of like my professional work is just trying to understand like every single thing on this planet that might be an example of life, which is pretty much everything. And then trying to figure out like what's the deeper structure underlying that. 